Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Blaster 1987 here with another Geki Ranger slash Jungle Fury review. This time I'll be looking at Geki Toja, better known as the Jungle Pride Megazord. Now, if you recall from my previous Jungle Master Megazord review, I didn't have this at the time I reviewed that set. So, following this review, I'll be going back to the Shark, Bat and Elephant Zords afterwards for future reviews to show off their configurations with this set. So, without further ado, Red Ranger's Tiger Animal Spirit here. Articulation wise, no rotation of the head, but it does tilt up and down for transformation. And the mouth opens. There's ratchet joints on the shoulders for forward and back and outward motion for the fact that they become the Megazord arms. No elbows because they're pre bent in the set position. But you do get a wrist with a little bit of claws, which is again for the Megazord, Megazord fists. There's also a spin motor gimmick, which also provides a sort of waist swivel. Then ratchets on the hips and knees and on the back feet, like so. So those are for transformation more than anything, so they're supposed to be in this kind of position for the time being. There's also a ball joint of a tail for an expressive waggling movement. Then for the Blue Ranger's Jaguar Zord, the mouth opens, the neck can move up and down for transformation, but the head is fixed in its current position. So the head can't look down when the neck is pointing upwards. There's also a hinge for these removable sunglasses, ratcheted forward and back hips. Reversed elbows for a sort of prowling posture. And backwards knees with no hip joint. And again, the tail is ball jointed. Now the same articulation of a cheetah's orb, more or less, except the cheetah's orb can look up a little in its uh, current form. Mouth opens yet again. Forward back on the shoulders, elbows, and hip and the knee joints. Ball jointed tail. So, to combine the animal spirits into the Jungle Pride Megazord, well, before I do that, a quick size comparison. Here they are next to the Elephant Animal Spirit from my previous Elephant, Shark and Bat 3 in 1 review. Link in the description below. So, to combine the Jungle Pride Megazord, first what you want to do is straighten out the rear legs of the tiger like so, and bring these black pieces up so that the claws become sort of uh, hip skirt armor panels and the back sort of bony bit of a tiger knee joint becomes the combination peg for the legs then remove the tail, whoops I'll show off the spin gimmick later but for now I'll switch it off so it doesn't interfere then bring the arms down and rotate your face so they're pointing forward then leave the tigers on for the time being. Then remove the tails from the cheetah and jaguar zords. And fold up the heads like so. And the front legs so they become sort of the heel spur type thing. Then open up this panel underneath the back of the neck, which will also become another heel spur piece. Fold back the rear knees and you've got a leg all done. So, the yellow ranger is the right leg like so. Same on the other side of the jaguar, just bring the front paws all the way forward to become heel spurs. Flip out the black panel there and bring back the rear paws to become more armor. Then the jaguar becomes the left leg like so. Finally, bring down the tiger head and flip up this little mohawk spike on the back to automatically open up not just the tiger mouth, but the Megazord face within, <laughs> hidden within it. And here we have the Jungle Pride Megazord. In order to, well, provide some kind of melee weapon in this mode, the three animal tails can combine into the Jungle Setsukan weapon. So, in order to show that off, first, Put the tiger's or tail through the fist from the bottom up, like so. Then combine the jaguar tail onto one end and the cheetah tail onto the other. To become this giant sort of 
three part nun shark bow staff hybrid type weapon. Very similar to the staff of the Red Dragon Thunderzord Warrior mode from the yeah, second season of Mighty Morphin had. Then if I switch the spin motor back on, pressing this grey button on the crotch plane here will allow the jungle prime Megazord's upper body to spin, like so. But you've got to watch out for arm clearance with this thing. That's the savage spin finishing move that they use in the show. Then, if you lift it up and use the red button on the back, the lower torso spins. This is for the wolf configuration I'll show off later on, since I don't currently own the wolf sword at the time of reviewing this set. So, for articulation, nothing in the head apart from moving up and down for transformation. Two clips of ratchet aiming at the shoulders for outward movement. 360 degrees of ratchet of swivel at the shoulder. Wrist swivel. Whoops. Gotta be extremely careful with the yeah, spin motor on this thing. The hips can technically move backwards a little bit. But because of the type of claws on the hips, they can only move forward if you bend the paw forward first. No knee joints or ankle tilts or anything on this set, I'm afraid. Because this is one of the older Bandai Japan molds that was adapted by Bandai America for the American series. For size comparison, here's the Jungle Pride Megazord next to the Jungle Master Megazord, which I've already reviewed. Link in the description below. Now, much like the Jungle Master Megazord, which I've already reviewed, the Jungle Pride Megazord is also compatible with the Elephant, Shark, and Bat subse <coughs> subsequent Zords for armor set modes, which also use the Spin Motor gimmick as their finisher attack. I'll show these off in future reviews, starting with the Elephant. So, with that being said, I've been Soundblaster1987, thanks again for watching, and, as I just said, my next review will be the Jungle Pride Megazord Elephant Configuration. Till then, till all are one, and may the power protect you, always.